Well, we're still holding on to a lot of this heat right now, but believe it or not, we're looking at that upper level pattern as we make our way towards those colder temperatures tonight. Looking at that change over the last 24 hours, just shooting way up there into those 70s. That's a good 40 degree run, and now we're cooling off about 20 degrees right now from maximum heating into those 50s. And when we get a good look at those temperatures outside, we're one of the hotter spots right now. Everybody else joining us in a combination of 40s and 50s. And we get a good look outside, we can still see some of those cold pockets making their way across the entire area as we begin to cool off again. Dropping about 20 degrees, we see down there in Sonora, 46, 45 down there in Junction, and of course, 56 up there in Sterling City. So we're still seeing a good 10 degree spread, but in the other direction now. Now we're seeing a lot of that southwesterly wind keep us pretty warm in the southern regions, but those winds are starting to turn out of the northeast, and that signals that that cold weather is definitely going to be here by about Friday morning. Now when we look at the moisture values across the entire region, that's when we're starting to see these dew points come above the freezing marks, if not in some of those areas, but the moisture values, the humidity indices haven't really jumped up a whole lot, believe it or not. We were debating whether or not we could see frost in the morning as a result of some of these colder temperatures, because tonight we're going to be dropping back down into those 20s, then slowly warming up into those 40s. We're going to fight to get there, definitely for sure. A lot of strong cold air. You can see it even here on the moisture tracker. You can see a lot of that cold air making its way in, but we're starting to see a nice, even uniform moisture content where we're going to still see some stable conditions for a couple days before we start to see some of these bigger storms moving in. Steve and I were taking a good look at what's about to happen in the upper level pattern. This low pressure system slowly going to move off to the east, and we see this ridging push in. Now, this ridging is still going to be here because we're going to see a high pressure system move way off to the northwest. Now, as we make our way later into the week, by the weekend, we start to see a low pressure system make its way in off the west coast, and you start to see this circuit circulation develop around the four corners. Now, you start to see those winds come out of the southwest. This could increase some of those rain chances and increase some of those temperatures into the 60s, but then you see how deep this trough actually gets. It goes all the way down to Mexico. Now, you see how widespread this gradient is, and you can see that low pressure system developing. Look how big this trough is. It goes all the way down from Washington, down into Mexico, then back up across the Contra Valley and heads east, and you can see those winds moving across Canada west to east very quickly, and then strong ridging off the west coast. Very dynamic right now. We could see some interesting weather as a result. And when we talk about the future cast, watch how strong the storm is making its way off. You can see this small amount of cloud cover by Friday morning. That's what's going to drop us back down into those 40s and keep us there for a couple days. But look how big this storm is, dumping tons of snow, rain, and ice across the entire west coast, making its way across the Rocky Mountains. And just before it ends, you see another shot make its way in off the west coast. This is a lot of moisture, folks, as it starts to make its way across the Rocky Mountains, believe it or not. And then it starts to make its way near the Concho Valley. That's where we see those southeasterly winds really pull a lot of moisture into the region and then you see it kind of hover around the entire area You're seeing snow there in Midland Fort Stockton down in Del Rio ice near San Antonio but just when you look across the entire Concho Valley just a little bit of snow just a little bit of rain even some cloud cover maybe small amounts of ice it's gonna be pretty interesting as we make our way into Sunday and Stephen will definitely get a good look at it now we're gonna see those winds really push out of the Northeast getting pretty fast 15 to 25 miles per hour before they start to calm down later on towards Friday night now that's gonna settle us out and allow things to kind of warm back up up into those 60s, getting more into that average temperature, but we're going to be covered in clouds and we're going to continue to see a lot of continuous rainfall throughout the entire week next week. So remember tonight, getting pretty cold down into those 20s around 3 in the morning. Then tomorrow, we're going to struggle to get there, but those winds are going to be howling out of the north as we continue to see us slowly get up into those 40s. And that's where we're going to stay for the entire weekend and really until about Sunday. That's when we can see our first opportunity to see some of those warmer temperatures push in. You see, we go from those 19s up to those 20s and we're finally up in those 50s and those 40s. That's when the rain begins and then it starts to make its way in throughout the rest of the week. We see those temperatures jump up into those 60s and those lows stay in those 40s. Stay tuned. We'll have more up at the break. You're watching KSAN News at 10.